What's going on, everybody? It's Stab Boy back with another video here with Post Score Guide Episode 2. Let's get into it. Again, we're going to go into. Where the hell is it? Uh, controls, right? Yep. Today, I want to talk about protecting the paint. As a post scorer, obviously, yeah, you want to get buckets, you want to score, blah, 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 blah. But you got to be able to defend as well. So, let's look at a few things. Obviously, block is Y, steal is X. You guys know all that stupid shit. Now, let's start to look at something people do not utilize in this game. You have to utilize the right stick as a defender if you want to defend well, especially as a big man. Right? You're not as fast as these guards. You can't, you know, your lateral quickness isn't fucking 85. You've got to utilize the right stick. You see hands up on defense. Move and hold the right stick in any direction. When you're under the basket, you have to utilize this. I see so many people spamming why, 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 why. Your dude's jumping around like fucking Frogger. And you just give your opponent an easy bucket. Yes, there's times to press Y. I'm not saying never press Y. Obviously, you, if you watch my videos, I jump and block shots all the time. Sometimes I miss. It happens. But if you get your body between... Your opponent in the basket, you got to use the right stick. You're going to play great defense and contest his shot, and he's going to miss most of the time. Now, shot contest. Hold LT or the right stick in any direction when near shooter during the shot. It's the same shit. Use this. Yes, on the perimeter, but I'm talking about protecting the paint mainly. Use this in the paint. You don't always have to hit Y. Especially if you hit Y... And he, the opponent misses the shot, there's a good chance he's going to get the rebound because you're in the air. If you use shot contest, you're going to stay on the ground, body him up, contest the shot, and you can turn and press Y to get the rebound. So it's a big advantage in that aspect. Vertical contest. People don't know about this. You can hold the left stick away from the shooter and press Y, and your dude will jump to contest the shot, but he's not going to jump forward to try and block it. This will avoid fouling them for no reason. And it'll keep you between them and the basket, so then you could turn and get the rebound. As you see in the little 2K animation thing here, you see DeMarcus Cousins is going to grab this board. I know he doesn't grab it, but you see it's right next to him. He's going to grab it, no doubt about it. Swap block, hold RT and push Y. I think everyone does that in general. Take charge, flop. You don't need any of that bullshit. Uh, Off-ball defense. This is... Oh, offense. Whoops. Off-ball defense. This is something a lot of people do not know about either. How many things you can do off the ball to try to get position on your guy. Box out opponent LT, obviously. Rebound, press Y. Bump. Hold LT while impeding the path of the offensive player. A lot of people don't do this, I, th I don't think. And then they wonder why like people just cut back door or people just run to the hoop and get dunks. Now listen, it doesn't work all the time, obviously. Strength is taken into consideration, momentum, weight, all that crap. But my point is people don't do this and they give up dunks and they're like, oh, this is bullshit, this is bullshit. No, you don't know how to defend off the ball. That's what's going on. Let's continue. Chuck, while standing, hold LT and move the right stick towards the, uh, towards the offensive player. So if you push the right stick into the guy, you're going to like bump him. Now you got to be careful because if you go to bump him and he kind of slides around you, he's going to get a good chance to get a dunk. But this is a good thing to, if you need to bump somebody who's cutting for an alley-oop, you see all these people try to throw alley-oops and shit, you can just bump his ass and the, the pass is going to go out of bounds. Grab. While running, move the left stick and the right stick towards the offensive player. If you know how to do this, it's big time because you can really keep people out of the paint. And look, at it pushes – I don't know who that is. Is it Jimmy Butler in the in the animation? Whoever it is, it pushes him all the way to the three-point line to get the ball. Now, if you're a big man, you want to keep people out of the paint. Like Say you're guarding a glass cleaner. This is excellent. He's going to have to catch the ball at the three-point line, which he's not going to be able to do shit with it. Deny hands out. Uh, on the park, I don't think this is that big of a deal, but you can see here a lot of these deny engage. Um. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't recommend doing this, though, because if you're doing this, the dude can just backdoor you. So on the park, I don't think this is a good idea. Uh, post up engage. Here you go. Hold LT when near an opponent while inside near the basket. So this is going to you're going to start bumping him and jockeying him, trying to keep him away from the hoop. Post push. Move the left stick towards the offensive point. You could push him out of the paint, out of, you know, 
move him away from the basket. Again, it takes into account, you know, post control, strength, weight, all that crap. So if you're a fucking five foot three, hundred and thirty pound guard, obviously you're not gonna push a big guy out of the paint. But at least you'll provide a little resistance and shit. But anyways, we're not talking about four guards. As a big man, use this. Get your opponent away from the basket. Post pull chair. Now I'm not gonna lie, I never did this, but this is something that I really want to try. If you move the right stick in the same direction as the offensive player is pushing, so when someone's pushing into you, you flick the right stick away from them, you, you know, you're gonna pull the chair away from them and step in front and steal the pass. Now if, this would be sick. If you can get this shit down and do this in the park, damn. Post transition, up, down, left, or right on the right stick. You see this? You, so you can change position. Sometimes people try to seal you away from the basket. Use the right stick to get position. People always tell me, oh, I'm just trying to get away from sprint and get to the basket. Yeah, but he's bodying you up. You're not going to be able to just sprint. You have to use the right stick to get position to defend properly. People don't do this. Even when the opponent has the ball, I use the right stick all the time. If he's going to try to spin me, I'm going to push the right stick in the direction of the spin. A lot of times you'll jump in front of it. People don't know about this right stick, man. This is how you defend in the post. You don't just fucking hold LT and push Y and hope for the best. There's techniques to it. Post fight for position. Again, it's the same shit with the right stick. Move right stick up or down when the offensive player attempts to transition. So this is to kind of counter the transition. A lot of this you're not going to need, but it's good to know because that one or two plays in a game where you might be able to utilize this could be the difference between whether you win or lose. Now, obviously, you steal the entry pass, you press X, post disengage, move the left stick away from the offensive player. You need to be able to do this because sometimes people got position on you, the right stick ain't working, just disengage from the post, just move away from them, give them a little space, and then you can you know, get back in there in the incorrect position to protect the basket. So now let's look at a few in-game examples of some uh, paint protecting techniques. Here I'm using the right stick actually. My guy jumps a little bit but not very much. Jumps a little bit. I jump to get the rebound. Unfortunately I don't get it. Now I press Y and I jump away from him so I don't foul him. I end up blocking the shot or making him lose control of it or whatever. Here's another example. Pressing Y and jumping away from him so that he comes into me instead of me jumping into him and I bail him out with a foul and they get possession of the ball. I end up blocking the shot, still just protecting the rim. And here's your typical RTY block where you chase down and punch that shit. So there's a few examples. I could show you example after example, but you don't need to see a thousand examples of it. You get the point. There's different ways to defend. I see too many people just trying to block shots. That's not how you protect the paint. Now, again, I'm not saying never go to block a shot. Obviously, blocking shots is not only fun, but it's effective. But... Especially when you're defending someone who's trying to dunk inside or post up inside. Use the right stick. Use the contest Y instead of the block Y. And you'll see that you start to defend the paint a little bit better. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Coming up on 1,000. Unbelievable. Thank you guys so much. It's been that boy. Peace.